Be prepared for highly offensive language throughout, sexual references, aggressive confrontations and outbursts. Previously, rivalry was rife. Steph. Steph caused a lot of friction in the house. Go on, don't have a shot, don't be a diva. You don't like me. I definitely don't like you. She's getting away with murder in this gap. Don't yell out because we've had our differences. Let down this room. You're a very nasty girl. I'm fuming. And a new arrival shocked the house. It's my way or the highway. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. Stephanie, your floozy days are over. I don't want to hurt anyone. Tonight, Gillian McKeith lays down the law. What are you eating? Why are you trying to disrupt this? Stephanie, what are you doing out here? Oh, I was there. Uh... Just please don't take the chocolate away. Oh, oh my goodness, that is a toxic poop. And it's nominations. Volatile, selfish. She's got a boyfriend and she's cheating on him. It's just got to stop. The housemaids facing Friday's evictions are... Ridiculous that I'm up for nomination. I've had enough of this bollocks. I've had enough oh. of this bollocks. Oh. She's self-destruction in front of me. I want to leave now. Steph, you're going to be seen like a lunatic, mate. You'll never work again. That is the worst thing you could ever have said to me. I'm really bored of listening to your never shit. Never speak to me again after this. Let me out the door now. Stephanie, come and sit down. I'm leaving. Stephanie, No, I'm seeing Jess and I'm leaving. I'm not staying any longer in this house. Twenty-three, ten, twelve a.m. All right, what's going on, guys? It's the second Good day morning. of Gillian McKeith's mission to purify the celebrity Big Brother house. Today, she will put the housemates through their pierces while trying to determine the four most toxic. Did you eat clean last night, Stephanie? I had carrots and that before you came in, a few raspberries, but they were dead like maybe go like that. Can you honestly look me in the eye and tell me that that is what you ate? I did before you came in and then I had a few minstrels. Right, so did you eat clean? Yes or no? It's a simple question, right? No. Why? Because I like chocolate. She's on one. Is she shouting at people? Because she might be shouting at me. I want you all outside right now, running laps. If you can't run, you walk. Can I okay. walk briskly? You can walk briskly. Uh, no, and no on. smoking at the same time. time. Keep moving. How long have we got to do it for? You look better already. How long have we got to do it for, Jilly? I don't know. Oh, you're joking. As long as you're still breathing. Oh, no. I don't like that you have taken on board this whole F word thing. It's like internal pollution. And I'm not sure if it's because, like why you're swearing so much. Because that's where I come from. No, but you can that's leave it behind. Do you want to stay stuck where you came from? Yeah, I do. I like where I'm from. But I'm you... working class girl, and that's how I talk. Yeah, but all working class people don't swear. Yeah, but this one does. I'll try for you. I mean, I... don't just try, just do it. Next on Gillian's list is the housemates' food. I want all the good, healthy, clean food on one side and all the nasty. In the storeroom as well. It's all being taken yeah. away into confiscation. Not a problem, Gillian. So we're looking for raw food, food in its natural state. I've got a biscuit in my pocket, do you want one? I can write it. Quick. Throw the butter. I'm taking this very serious. What are you eating? A biscuit and a cup of Why are you trying to disrupt this? I'm not. A lot of this is off. Jill, throw the potatoes, honey. We're saying no to the potatoes. What were you doing in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> you're not taking this seriously. <laughs> no, no, please, you're going to get fruit. Listen, listen, you're going to get fruit. <laughs> this is natural shit. <laughs> <laughs> This house is so hard but without chocolate. Listen, I'm here now. I can help you. You don't need chocolate to, to get through it. Oh, my gosh. Listen, I can't go without that chocolate for breakfast. Chocolate for breakfast is absurd. Why have velvet cake? It was fun while it lasted. Just please don't take it? the chocolate away. You can't do this to yourself. No wonder you're so <laughs> Can confused. I no. I want to smoke a little bit. Oh, I'll just stand right here. <laughs> She can't see out, right? I can only see her through this glass. She can see out. Stand that side. Take the, take the, that's it. Jeremy. Little throw. Honest to God. You're being defiant, aren't you? Yeah. 
Tiffany, what are you doing out here? Oh, I was, uh, um, I was cleaning my, uh... Yes. Um, can I tell you what my plan is? Tiffany, there's no point in lying. Okay, can I tell you, can I can I see tell right you what my plan you. is? No, yes. no. When these are gone, I'm gonna give it up. I swear, when, 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 when I run out of cigarettes, you I'm just, not gonna smoke anymore. You swear. You I'm, swear, we don't want any swearing. It would have to be a promise. A prom. And when you prom, what's prom? Half a promise. Yeah, no, it's not good enough. Okay. Who is willing to give up smoking? One, two, three, four, five, six people. Daniela and Stephanie are continuing to smoke. It's too stressful in here not to have a cigarette. Do you give me your word? Yes. 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 All right, I'm going to be watching you. So I'm going to reassess the toxic people. And if I think there needs to be a change, there will be one. So please don't let me down. Okay. okay. And Jeremy, Stephanie is off limits to you. You're banned. Okay. Thanks, Julia. Okay, Thanks, so see Julia. you later. Mm. Are you on to tub? I have nothing oh, to say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Twelve thirty p.m. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. <laughs> 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 I can't get in bed, I'll just sit here. You're going to sleep. No, I can't lie down. She's going to kill me, I can't. <laughs> just for two minutes. Just a cuddle. John is talking about how his housemates are coping with Gillian's rules. Stephanie and Jeremy seem to be spending limited time together, I guess you could say. Scotty T may have had one cigarette, but uh, I think Tiffany is uh, obeying the rules of not smoking. I, I think she's uh, I think she's doing okay too. I think she's um, I think she's abiding by Gillian's rules. Gemma and Tiffany are in the garden. You're right, Tiff. Oh, Tiff, I thought you was going to give up fags. I am, baby. This is my last one. Me and Jill's had a good talk. Um, and I explained to her that once my three were gone, I was done. And she, you know, she understood me. It's symbolic. I'm done. You can do this, Tiff. I've got faith in you. Girl, it ain't nothing. But I'm just excessive by nature. Yeah. I'm too excessive. I need yeah. to ask Julian about why my personality is excessive. And the thing is, I've got a boyfriend, like... He loves eating. You know what I mean? So See, it's but hard. he has to encourage you. He does, but he just doesn't like the thought of me suffering. Yeah. I mean, apparently, though, I mean, I should try this one day. Madonna, even at Christmas, she still just eats nuts. Coming up, Tiffany, let's rip. Because y'all know that y'all should shut the fuck up and let me speak. Look how stressed my shit is. Because of them. Four twenty eight PM. On a mission to purify the house, Gillian is interrogating some of the housemates to get to the root of their toxic issues. Do you think that you are toxic? No. Why not? I potentially could be, yeah. Yeah. Do you think you're toxic? No. Far from it. Why not? I treat people the way I like to be treated, live and let live. I'm very good at doing that. It would be really good if you could help me identify who you think is the most toxic. Because my mission here is to sort out the house, Daniela. For me, the Steph and Jess situation is just infuriating. Something happened with John and myself. And what happened? He nominated me to go. I think the thing about it is he's never, he's never looked me in the eyes and just went, I'm sorry, mate. I wouldn't say I'm a control freak, but if I feel that someone's not doing it as good as I would do it, I then have a meltdown. Yes, I do. So do you think that having a meltdown is the best reaction, though? No, you? but I don't know how to control it. But have you been stressed out in this house? I have been stressed, but... Why are you stressed? Just over the staff situation, maybe, staff? mostly. She's not a bad girl, to be fair. Try and bring it down a few decibels. Not everything, you haven't got to shout everything and scream everything and run everything and dance everything. So I think you're keeping a lot in. So if you were able to let it out, what you're feeling, and actually go to John again, I have spoken you might to another find about it. that it could affect your constipation. It's like you're keeping everything in. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you, Jill. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks. Seven oh one PM. Yesterday, Gillian asked the toxic housemates to provide stool samples so she can delve a little deeper. Well, it's not as bad a smell. It's tiny though, but it doesn't smell too bad, so that's a good sign. Tiffany is struggling with her detox. What are we doing, Miss Tiffany? What do we do? Okay. <laughs> You can do this, honey. Oh my God, you can do this. Oh, oh, darling. Oh, honey. Oh, gosh, it's harder than what I thought with this. I know. Smoking. Do you want a tissue? Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, that is a toxic poo if ever I've. Let me recover for a minute. Tiffany, so because you want a cig? No, no. I'm going to stop it. Thank you, Steph. Oh, sorry. This is Big Brother. The storeroom is now open for housemates to collect refreshments. Yes! Fucking yes! Woo! <laughs> 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 Because I'm detoxing, so I'm not drinking. Oh, it's not what I'd want to see. Oh my god. Oh, it looks like a pretzel. You drinking that tonight? There will be a consequence for that. Hello. You... Just a good time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then that's. What... I, I know that you're more intelligent than that. I know that you are way more intelligent Thank than you, that, Daniel. and you're just saying that. I could go on Friday for doing it. Since Doesn't it's matter. But and listen, all that. listen. You and you can do whatever you want to do. I'm not here to tell you you're a grown what woman. to do. You are you are here to do. I need to sit and think about this. Whatever yeah. it is you want to do. I want to go good. sit and think about this. That's good. Think but about you know it. That she said is the ripple effect. That's what she said to you. But that's positive thinking about it. You know? Yeah. And it's, it's a personal journey. But that's I'm the coming thing to see BB House yeah. to have a laugh, not to detox. It gotta to add be... up and make sense to you. It's a personal Listen, journey. You can justify it yeah. however you want, right? You can say, well, I've come into a laugh. It doesn't that's all bullshit, and well you know it. If you want to stick your fingers up right now and go, I'm gonna drink and I don't care because I just want to have fun, at least be blatant enough to say that. But don't say, don't dress it up in all But I've not drunk for a few days, not like and I, that's what I'm saying. But I'm what I'm, I've been bored, yeah, stick. But what I'm saying is, that's all I'm saying. If you want to drink and go, screw it, I'm drinking, then do that. But just remember, you think, you think about it. You came in here for the same reason I came in here. Not to have fun, but that's what you're we, saying now. We, we came in here to change the public's perception of us. That's what we came in for. You didn't come, we didn't come in here for fun, did like, So I can't have a drink because everyone says I've got a problem, I can't have a drink when it's not true. Okay. Yeah. You do, do you what, know what I mean? You do what's right for you, babe. You do whatever's right for you. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. Oh, Tiff, it just looks like we'll be new tonight then. Girl, I'm fighting my devil. It's nicotine. I'm not smoking. But I need this release. That's why it's a per the detox is personal for to each person. I got to have this. No one's here to tell you what to do, Steph. Right. Like you said, you're the only person that can do that. It 48 p.m. Gillian has called the toxic housemates into her clinic for their stool analysis. Oh, hey. Oh, shit. Shit! There's no swearing. So, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. I'm gonna sit over here on the end. All right, listen up. We're going to be discussing your poos. Okay. No one has produced the perfect poo. I'm sure. So, John, yours was smaller than expected. I would have said it was about the size of a large date. So, what kind of emotions are you feeling right now, then? I'm really quite relaxed. I've spent okay. most of the day cooking. Because your poo didn't suggest that. No. Well, so you've lived by my school. rules. Yeah. Hand on heart. Hand on heart, I've lived so by your rules. I'm impressed. I have. Stephanie. <laughs> All right, your poo was like nothing you could ever imagine. But then you know that, don't you? <laughs> it was a shocker. 
It smelled like there was no tomorrow. Oh, shh. It was really bad. It really was the most smelly of the four. You're giving signs, in my opinion, of a stressed out poo, of a stressed out situation. It's, it's the biggest stressed out poo I've ever had. Because and that kind of smell would have to come from someone who's stressing. I'm severely stressing. And it came out kind of like the feelings jagged and then a bit runny. Stressed. And then t the runny bits of tears. All right, Scotty T. Well, I have to say Tell me what it feels like. that you produced the largest <laughs> poo of all by far. Yay! <laughs> Are you more relaxed in this house generally? Because your poo kind of suggests that. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Because he is. Out, yeah. Can I just say this morning um, when I went, it was different. It was like a lighter colour. Were you drinking alcohol? No. Have you been drinking? I drank tonight, but I've not drank the past few days. And been who antibiotics. gave you permission to drink? Me. So what does that say up there, please? Eat clean, drink clean, act clean. Right, so... I don't think, like, you can not be in this house and understand what it's like. And I think, especially for me, before I came in with the press and stuff, I don't need to justify myself. Forget all that. Stop worrying what people think. I, that's why I've drunk and tonight, lived, I don't care what no. people think. No, no, no. You do care what people think. And that is why you're drinking. And you know it. Anyway, <laughs> Tiffany. Yes. Your poo looked like somebody who might be a bit agitated. Do you feel agitated? Yes, I do. For what reason? Because I'm not able to do what I want to do. What right? do you want to do? I want to go fuck. I, 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 I mean, um, <laughs> sorry. Can we have a much more polite Absolutely. word? I, I would like to make love. I would like to go out and get what I want to eat. In this house, it's a closed environment. So I'm just really trying to adapt. Do you think you can learn something from it, though? Absolutely. <laughs> It's, it, it's humbled me. It's just given me a, a, a humbling experience. It's not always easy in here. It's not glamorous. I thought it would be Put the glamorous. highlighters down. Sorry. Put the highlighters down. Down. <laughs> this is a very intense moment, and you're mocking it. They love to mock me. They always mock me. They're children. I never mock you. So they're kids? Mocking would be too. Well, they're mocking me. But that doesn't mean she likes they, they, it. They're mocking me because y'all know that y'all should shut the fuck up and let me speak. But see, I'm used to this behavior in here, and I don't mean to stand over you. You are drunk too. This is what they want to do to me. No. Look how stressed my shit is. Because of them. Tiff, you know I love you. <laughs> what are you on about? What? Nah, mocking is a strong word. I don't agree with that. Coming up, Scotty T tells it straight. This whole situation with her having a boyfriend is, is out of control. She's got a boyfriend and she's effectively cheating on him. And Tiffany's unravelling. I don't want to live with me. Oh, Be prepared for highly offensive language throughout, sexual references, aggressive confrontations and outbursts. Nine fifty two PM After spending the day reassessing the housemates, it's time for Gillian to decide who she thinks are the four most toxic housemates. OK, I've been observing and analysing all day, and I feel like I know you all pretty well now, both inside and out. <laughs> hey. And as you know, my mission in the house is to reduce toxicity. So I will be revealing to you the four housemates who are going to spend the night in my detox clinic. <gasps> Stephanie, you're going back in. I know I am. You're going back in because you did not take advantage of an amazing opportunity presented to you. And you produced a very smelly poo. That brings me to you, Jeremy. You will also be going into the detox Yay! clinic tonight. Just a minute. Back off. This is a chance for the two of you to handle yourselves differently when in close proximity. So please don't let me down because I will watch this and I will observe this and I don't want to feel like this is a big mistake. It's the biggest mistake. The problem is, you do need to be in the detox clinic. 
Tiffany. Uh huh. You didn't make the most of the opportunity, darling. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Please. No, darling, you didn't. You need more purification, <laughs> and this will be very good for you. Okay. okay. And you're drinking again, and that breaks my heart. Okay. So I have to go back in there. You have to go back. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Darren, you are emotionally holding, and you are severely constipated. Your plumbing is way backed up, and you can really <laughs> benefit from a night in the detox clinic. That's a bit of okay. So these four, Stephanie, Jeremy, Tiffany, and Darren, will be spending a night in my detox Jimmy, clinic. No, I think I'm out, mate. No, you have to no. go nowhere. Okay. I'm out. I've had no, enough. No, no, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. Go outside. Come outside. No, I've had enough. Down, can't, mate. No, I've had enough of this bollocks. Can't walk now. I've had enough of this bollocks. I know it's bollocks, I know. I've had enough of this bollocks. I fucking ain't smoked all day. Fuck off. Wait a minute, let me get my light off. Give me a fucking break. Come on, please, babe. Okay. Stop. Okay. Give me one. No. Give me one kiss. Give me one kiss on the lips. Just a peck. Yeah. A peck. That's all right, kiss. Ten eighteen pm. Big Brother has gathered the housemates at the sofas. This is Big Brother. Daniela, Gemma, John, and Scotty T. You are the pure housemates. Therefore, you will be nominating tonight. Woo! Daniela, you are up first and should come to the diary room immediately. Oh All right God. now. Oh, wait. Yeah, Stefan's going to say me and Jez, even though we're probably the best crack in here when it's on, on point. No, you're the best crack with each other. Nah, <laughs> with you two and everyone else. Hello, Daniela. Hello, big brother. Could you give the name of your first nomination? My first nomination is Jeremy. I think the situation is a bit uncontrollable for everybody. I think it's getting everybody down. And I think the longer that it carries on, it's just going to cause murders with everyone. The quicker those two are out and, and, and in the real world and, and together, then it won't be so awkward for everybody in here. My second nomination, and I say with a heavy heart, even though we've argued constantly, is Steph. For similar reasons to Jeremy. I think she needs to get out and sort her crap out, and I think she's just making a continuous row of mistakes like I used to all the time. And it's painful to watch. Everything she does wrong, people are picking up on, and me included, and it, it's just got to stop. My first nomination is Jeremy. We've all had conversations with him numerous times and he's not taking anyone's advice and it can be disruptive to the house. My second nomination is Stephanie. She needs to go and find herself in the world and I think being in the house, being around Jeremy, being around all of us is only holding back what she needs to go and do. My first nomination is Tiffany. It's only because of the way she went on with me in uh, that room with Gillian earlier. She said I was mocking her and I wasn't at all. I picked up a highlighter and I put it straight back down when she was talking to Gillian about her poo. It's not a conversation I wanted to be listening to anyway. Like the thought of her strain on the toilet, you know what I mean? And then she started booting off and pointing in that and I just thought it was a bit out of order. I never mock anyone. I get on well with everyone and I always make time to listen to people. And for, me, for her to say that I don't do that and start shouting at us, then like, that offends me. Right, my second nomination is going to be Stephanie. The reason being, this whole situation with her having a boyfriend is, is out of control. She's got a boyfriend and she's effectively cheating on him. And it's also making Jeremy look bad. And I love Jeremy to bits and I'm all for me mates. And if I'm looking out for me mates, I think if Stephanie does go, then I'll, you'll see a difference in Jeremy. And I think at the minute, she's dragging him down with him. My first nomination is for Stephanie. On coming into the house, she said she wanted to change people's perception of her. Yet, since she's been in the house, she has solely focused her attention on Jeremy and her relationship with him. She is defensive, uh, volatile, uh, at times selfish, and I think her time in the house is over. 
My second nomination is for Jeremy. Jeremy's relationship with Stephanie has become difficult for the house. It is difficult to speak to him about it, as on one side he will take your advice and on the other side he will completely ignore it. His relationship with Stephanie provides the house with much drama, much tension, and I think without Jeremy here, the house would be a much calmer environment for everybody. Eleven twenty-six p.m. Housemates have been gathered for the result of the nominations. This is Big Brother. The housemates facing Friday's evictions are Jeremy. Oh. Stephanie. Shit, I never thought that, you know. And Tiffany. I'm so over this shit. Fine. Do you know what, Big Will? I just wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> housemates, you are now free to leave the living area. Thanks. All toxic housemates must now make their way I'm to the I'm not going clinic. in that other room. Come on. I'm already up for a nomination. Okay. No. No. Fuck it. I'm already up for nomination. I'm gonna spend the night in this room. Oh, Tiff, I'm already. Worry about... They already want me to go home. I'm so sick of this shit. It, it's the it's the energy. The I'm really really keeping away from it. No. I'm ready to go home Friday. I don't give a shit. I'm sick of packing this shit over and over again. I want to leave Friday. Tiff, can I just say one thing? At least we ain't been boring. That's it. At least we've had a fucking good crack. I'm ready to go home. I don't want to keep doing this. I'm always up. You're always up. I'm used to packing. I'd rather be me. I don't want to live with people well, that don't want to live with me. I want to leave Friday. Tables, you know what I mean? At least I can have a stiff Easy. drink and a stiff dick and a, a steak. Yeah, girl, you hear him be out loud. Boom. I got your back. I'm done with it. I've had my share. This yeah. is Big Brother. All toxic housemates must make their way to the I'm clinic not immediately. Anymore. Not going SARS if I'm going on Friday. I'm staying here. <laughs> have a good time, Big Bro. I've been up every fucking goddamn week. I've given you more entertainment than anything you could wish for. Best student, right? It's just like... Johnny, I mean, oh, Johnny, can you make me some chickpeas and tuna or something? I'm feeling a bit stressed. <laughs> it's just horrendous in there Is right chickpeas now. and tuna fattening? I, chick, no, but it won't be nice. The chickpeas are hard. Yeah, they're really hard. It's just all... Is it a hot mess What's in going there? on in there? It's boring, isn't it, babe? Yeah, they're the most entertaining. It's ridiculous that I'm up for nomination. Oh, it's Tim. Steph no, it's no. Stephanie. I'm the most entertaining. She's yeah. never going to work when she comes out of here, you know that, don't you? I know. No. Oh, I just... love her dearly, but I've, I've said I think she's what she self destructs in front of me, and I find it really, really hard to watch because I've been that, I have been that girl that self destructs in front of my family and friends. Yeah. But I just feel sorry for her. Yeah, I do, and that's, I why, feel I, that's why I feel desperately, desperately sorry for her. Because she's, it's out of control. She doesn't like, know what she's doing. I don't want to live with nobody who don't want to live with me. Fuck, no one. fuck this house. That's what y'all don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not packing my shit a fucking gas. I'm not packing my shit a fucking gas. I'm sick. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck all y'all fucking cleaning I'm products. Here. I'm out of here. You gotta I don't want to walk in that bedroom, and that's not like me. Stephanie, you got a cigarette? Because I'm about to... I'm about to fucking blow! Let's go. I'll have a tablet. You got one. I need a cigarette. Because I want to leave now. Oh, I'm shit. I'm not about to tell nobody to vote for me. <laughs> and I've been up four times. Where's my pride? Stephanie. Have I got no pride? Listen, you. No, 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 no. Calm your ass down. I don't care how many beautiful meals you made. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -mm. I'm not calming down. Calm your ass down, man. <laughs> Let's go for a cigarette. Hello. Let's go for a tub. I'm not calming down. I don't want to live with people who <laughs> don't want to live with me. No one, no one doesn't want to live with Tiff, me. Tiff, find out for me too. Even I, I want to know who put me up. 
Please tell me who put me up for eviction. We can't talk about it. It don't matter. We're not allowed to. Hey, listen, we're not allowed to talk about it. I don't want to live with people who don't want to live with me. I, 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 I'll pack my bags on Friday. I'll tell you I, 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 I know y'all. I know who put me up. I, I, I know who put me up. Babe, I feel for you. I, really I don't want to live with nobody who don't want to live with me. That's all I'm saying. If you don't want to live with me, if you don't want to live with me, I don't want to live with Tiff, you. No one wants to live with us. <laughs> I don't care. I don't oh, care about God none almighty. of them. None of them. I don't give a fuck about none of them. Tiff, the boring. and why are you even wasting your energy? If you want to watch that on TV, like what you got to know with celebrities being brothers. Sons of bitches. No. Fuck them all. No. I'll okay, give these up. I'll be like that. No, you fucking hey, if, uh, mind. Watch the pool. Mind the pool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, that would God, be funny. Would would be be funny. <laughs> no, I wouldn't actually kiss you. <laughs> your head. If y'all motherfuckers don't want to live with me, y'all better fucking tell me that you don't want to live with me. I'm sick of packing my shit every fucking week. I understand y'all might not want to live with me. I don't groove how y'all groove and work how y'all work. But this shit, I'm sick of it. I hope I go so y'all don't have to keep talking behind my back no, and don't. seeing no how y'all can get rid of me. No one is, Tiff. You're, you're absolutely driving yourself crackers. That's not the, tr the case, babe. I, 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 you know what? They're gonna have to send me home now. Oh, mate. They're gonna have to send me home because I don't want to live with you. I don't want to live with you. don't want to live with me. Is that real? Nah. Nah. Is it bollocks? Nah, it's all for the... Is it I bollocks? It's for the telly. I, 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 I can't keep going through this shit. This is not how I do it back east. Coming up, old rivals go head to head. Never speak to me again after this because I would Don't never hear you. Don't worry, babe, you're sweet. I'm embarrassed to know you. And Stephanie loses it. Not on this show on TV. Where is Jeremy, please? Be prepared for a torrent of highly offensive language throughout, aggressive confrontations and outbursts. Eleven forty-six p.m. Jeremy is the only housemate to follow Big Brother's instructions and go to Gillian's clinic for the night. <laughs> oh my god! Tiffany is still ranting in the garden. It's just a game, man. I yeah. want to know who voted for me. It's just a fucking Have the game. Have the boss tell me that you voted for me. I will be able to tell you anything. I could tell you. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't stick a give a my fuck shit. about you and anything that you do. <laughs> Daddy, I'm at that. I'm at that damn level now. Let's have lots because now nobody Tiffany. wants to live with me, and I'm sick of this Tiff, shit. It's not about not wanting to live you though. Yes, it is, motherfucker. Yes, it is. It's not. So it's just a game. It's just a game, man. I don't want to live here no more than they want me to live here. It's not about not living here because it's just a nomination. Please do me a favor. She walks in. Don't say anything because she's gonna go off. Fucking hell, this house is mental, isn't it? What happens? She's fucking crazy, isn't it? What happens? Nothing. It's just like shit, isn't it? It's boring. Can't, like, no like no offence to anyone. I, you know what I'm like? I'm ADHD person. This house is sending me crackers, not doing anything. How Steph, shit. you're going to be seen like a lunatic, mate. You'll never work again off the back of this show. I'll be honest with you. What, for being me? This is not you, mate. Damn, that's... Standing up in the middle of a garden, shouting out... I'm laughing like... with her, going, yeah, messing about, have a banter, because it's mental. <laughs> It's fucking mental. But I will work again, Dan. I hope you do. All right. And I do care about you, mate. OK. Well, it's no more than anyone else kicking down doors and having... I didn't kick a door down. Right? It's like, we've all had our table. moments. I'm not staying tonight, and I'm really disappointed in you saying I'm ever going to work again. Cos I'm worried means... about you. No, I'm worried that, about you. That is the worst thing you could ever have said to me. All right, well, that's fine. What, worse than saying what you're doing to your boyfriend's bad? Is that bad and all? Worst thing you could say to me, kicking the doors down, and I've, I, you know what? Yeah, I did say kick the bloody thing you want to say to me and say about Sam, but just always remember, I've tried to help I'd you. never stoop as low to disrespect you and hate you the way you're hating me right now. Yeah, I'm really I care too much about you. Oh, good. I care about you too much to hate you like the way you just hate me. I'm glad me. you're an angel, Steph. That's and there's a lot I could throw at you, but I wouldn't. That's all right. You wouldn't be the first one. But I wouldn't do it to you because I care too much about you because I know the way you are. I wouldn't hate you. I'd never want ever let anyone speak down Look, to you come on. in I my life. Come on, and if darling. anyone ever tried to speak down to this house, I'd be the first person to have your back and fight your corner. Mm. And that hates a lot what you've just said after I this. said to you, if you carry on behaving in a crazy manner, behaving you're going like to find what? it hard Danielle, to work the way again. I am, you've not even known me that long. I've always messed about like Finally, that. You didn't so even know what I'm saying. Sweet. I'm done, Steph. But I'm at least done. I can have a laugh I'm really in the head. I don't care about cleaning products. 
but I'd never like everybody in ever, this house on board a list of shit, but I'll be the one to say it, right? Hate you come on, guys. I don't care. Come on, guys. I'll bring up personal shit that I'd ever hate you. I don't care. Ever. I don't care. And that's care. one thing I can stand by. A friend doesn't say you're never going to work again. A friend never brings shit up like that because no matter how mad Every I Every single person you. in this house has said it today. Have they? Is that what you want to do? You know what the funny thing is? I'm you all look each other's asses and you never see each other's faces. I do. I do. This final's so going to be really interesting with you all cleaning up. It's going to be the most ecstatic big brother I've ever seen in my whole entire life. But never speak to me again after this because I would I never hate you. You're sweet. I'm embarrassed to know you. Twelve or seven a.m. An unhappy Stephanie has come to the diary room. Hello, Stephanie. Hiya. I don't want any discussions this time. Where's Jess, please? What seems to be the problem this evening? I am literally leaving right now. Where is Jeremy? Don't make me boot the door down because I am final in my decision. Stephanie, just take a breath. I'm not doing this anymore. You've shown me the way, you, however you wanted to show me, and it's not true. So tell me where Stephanie. Jeremy. Stephanie, literally, go, let me out the door now. Because I want to go. Stephanie, come and sit down. I want to go. Stephanie, I'm not staying here. come and sit down. To be patronised, tell me I'll never work again. Now, where is Jeremy? Jeremy is where Jeremy is supposed to be and where you're supposed to be. Cool. I want to go say goodbye to him dead quick. Stephanie, sit in I'm the seat now. now. Let me out now or I'll press him a button. I'm not having this shown on TV. Where is Jeremy, please? Stephanie, sit down. I'm not sitting down, big brother, when you've shown me in a fucking bad light against all them knobheads who do fuck all in the house. Enjoy your entertainment. Let me see Jeremy and let... I'm going to press this button. What the fuck is this doing? Stephanie, sit down. Jez? What? Let me in, because I'm saying goodbye. Stephanie, come into the diary What's room. On? I want to say goodbye to you before I go. I'm not staying here now. I just want to see Jez. No, I want to see Jez. I want to. See, I'm not moving till I see Jez. I want to see Jez and say goodbye. Stephanie, I'm come leaving. into the diary room. No, I'm seeing Jez and I'm leaving. I'm not fucking staying. You've got your entertainment for so long, years ago. I want to see Jeremy now. So you best let me in to see Jez. Who's now smashing up the gaff? That's her. I just want to go. This on. is upsetting. She won't go. She ain't going nowhere, mate. She'll stay. Where's Jeremy gone? She's, she's, she's not going to go anywhere. Of course she's not going to go anywhere. She ain't going to go anywhere, but don't put her near me. I'm not, I'm not interested. I've tried to make the peace and tried to make the peace. I've tried to tell her. And all I said was what everyone else has said behind her back today. Well, to be fair, I don't think people talk behind her back. It's well, not, not behind you, her back, but everyone not, says she's never going to work when she carries on behaving like that. Everyone it's not thinks that, it's, you know, Everyone's worried for her, Johnny. Everyone's concerned yeah, for her. Yeah, they are. She ain't going to see it like that and she wants to take that out of me. I'm you cool know. with that. What's going on? I'm leaving, Jess. I'm not, I'm not doing this any What's, longer. What happened? I didn't hear I'm you. I'm on the toilet. Daniela Westbrook is one evil fucking What happened? Cow. They locked him in the fucking room. Who's this geezer? <laughs> fucking security. Does he have to come in with? No, he oh. doesn't. What's going on? Daniela went, just so you know, you're never going to fucking work again after the way you've been on this show. What? I don't know. No, I'm sorry. I said, you're telling me I'll never work again. And she's saying I'm a disgrace. She's going, you're a fucking disgrace. And Sam's not going to be there. You've got no boyfriend. You're fucking this, you're that. That's how Laughing in my face. I'll go and speak to her. No, no, I want to go now. You're not going to do it. No, Jess, Jess, going. listen to me. I literally can't. I've done it six times. I'm not messing them up now. Do you want me to go with you? Do you want me to go with you? Yeah? I'll go with you. You say we want to go. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't even care about the money. Just, well, that's just say, I don't care. I don't care. I honestly don't give a shit. If you want to go, I'll back you up. Hmm. I'm not going to let you walk out of this state. Look. Let's go, then. I don't want to do this anymore. Are you sure you don't want to chill I don't want to stay, Jess. Do you want to get a cup of tea and a No, I just want to be with you. I know. Um, all right. Jess, I'm not staying tonight. They're not going to talk me back fun. into it again. I'll walk with you. You're all right, bud. Big brother, we both want to leave and we're not staying. But I think she's had enough and as like I've seen this experience with her, I'll, I'll walk out with her, like, do you know what I mean? She's not um she's not happy in the house, like. And I don't I'm I've had a great time, but I I've know, had a great I time. Go but we're done. Like, uh, Either way, one of us are going and I'd rather go together than one of us go because I'd rather not stay in this house without him or be without him. I'm leaving tonight. So either do it or don't do it, because I'm not staying any longer in this house with nobeds who treat me like that and I know who I am. I'm sick of explaining myself, I'm sick of fighting for who I am and I'm sick of approving who I am. <laughs>
12.20 a.m. After speaking to Big Brother, Stephanie and Jeremy have decided to spend the night in the detox clinic. Oh, look, Steph actually has gone mental. She's never going to work again. I fucking hate this house. It's the worst thing I ever did. I just want to go home to my dog. <laughs> I don't hate to see her in dog. Oh, oh my you're spin worrying. turned upside down by this stupid program. We can't, Jez. Steph, you need to sit down. You're overreacting. Jez, you're just having a mental breakdown. Because we can't even put two pains on each other's heads without getting told off. What is this life? What is this? Will you do me a favour and just have a look around? We're in a fucking mental room where we belong and I say I'm toxic. I want to go. Ugh. Fuck it. Sons of bitches. All of them. A bunch of bitches. Fucking bitches. It's, nah, nah. I ain't speaking to her tomorrow and I'm going to say you, I, I, your behaviour last night disappointed me so much. What is wrong with you? I actually don't want to sleep in that room because this energy has just been so disrupted. Just leave me the fuck alone. That's where I'm at. Because out of four people... I mean, I don't know how many people... I don't know how it works, so I don't know. It doesn't mean shit, people going in that booth and saying la, 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 la. It doesn't mean shit. It's the public that vote for you. And the public are voting for you. I know how important it is. I want to make sure I'm talking to people who want me out of here. I'd rather just not fuck with people in here if they're voting for me. I know the public keeps me here, but somebody's putting me up every day. That's the thing. I don't want to... Be spending time with... Yeah. I don't know. But... Babe, that's what this is, though. That's what this gig is. Twelve thirty-six a.m. Jeremy has some advice for Stephanie. Stop letting words hurt you, man. Do you know what I mean? It's sticks and stones, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That's all it is, man. People can be vicious with their words, but what's the point if you hated someone if you actually felt that way? But you wouldn't even waste breath on them. It was that it's the bad. People they it want was to have that bad. At. You know when I flipped at Jeremy and yeah. I gave up? It was that bad. I just went. Do you know what? Like you're not worth it. But you're crying over it. Listen, <laughs> what I'm saying to you is this. What I'm saying to you is calm down. We'll speak to them tomorrow. All we have to do is speak to them. I don't want to speak to Daniela. Daniela has Stephanie on her mind. I know. I'm so sorry for her. Come on. I know. I don't take to what anything she said to me. I don't mind. You know no, what I mean? No, you I don't. don't even remember what it was. The point is they're done as well. The She's other just thing painful. is. She's so beautiful you as well. You want to tell her. I can't. I wish I just could keep my mouth shut. Like well, you can't, can't because you don't... See, because this is what happens. I feel bad, she gets mate. upset. I know. I feel she bad. hasn't done anything wrong. You're super talented in that as well. It's just heartbreaking to watch her do got put herself through this pain. You can tell she's in pain. You can just tell. I mean, you haven't got to know someone that well to see it. I know along the way that people have tried to help me and and, and just... broke. I've broke their hearts in the, in the same way, but... At the same time, some of the things they've said to me along the way did sink in. And it did make me, in my quiet time, sit and think about myself. Why well, I did end up on my own with so many certain things because of the way I acted. So I'm, what you're doing. So I'm hoping one day that she'll look at when she's ready to start working it through, she'll think about this and think she did try to help. Oh, that's a cock. Oh, thanks for looking after me. Whoa. Mm. I'll be all right. This week, Jeremy, Stephanie, and Tiffany all face the public vote. Who steers? You decide. From a landline call 090 204424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile call 64424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Jeremy, add 07. 
For Stephanie, add 14. For Tiffany, add 15. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. If you're watching on catch-up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Ryland's got all the goss from the inside. Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side later at five past eleven. Don't go anywhere though because it's about to get ugly. New 10,000 BC Two Tribes continues next. <laughs> 